In 1982, the film Blade Runner debuted, starring Harrison Ford as a futuristic policeman battling genetically engineered humans. The concept and style of the film were unique. So unique, in fact, that director Ridley Scott had to make quite a few concessions before the film could be released. Now, ten years later, the director's version of the movie is being released. Scott Leon has more. Bleak, dark, cynical. Some of the many descriptions critics used to describe Blade Runner when it was first released in 1982. Based on the Philip K. Dick novel, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, director Ridley Scott's visually stunning sci-fi look at Los Angeles' future was greeted with mixed reaction from reviewers and audiences. It was a fairly tough film to do at the time, um, mainly because we were going down such a strange street um, that... Uh, it was a fairly, you know, difficult process of making the film. And every inch of the way, one had to explain what, was, what, what, what one was doing. And uh, sometimes to people looking rather confused. In fact, Warner Brothers executives feared this disturbing vision of the year 2017 would turn off audiences, and they forced Scott to make drastic changes. Now, ten years later, Ridley Scott's original vision is coming to the big screen and a recut version being released nationwide. The change that I've made in the film will not present an, an, exactly an entirely different movie. That would be silly to suggest that. But I think, to a certain extent, there's been a removal of stuff. I've removed all the voiceover in the film, which I think certain, sometimes voiceover works, sometimes it gets in the way. Um, that's gone. There's a different ending, more suitable for what I call a film noir, um, which is really like saying, uh, um, life doesn't necessarily end happily ever after. I'm Rachel. Deckard. It seems you feel our work is not a benefit to the public. Replicants are like any other machine. They're either a benefit or a hazard. If they're a benefit, it's not my problem. Over the years, the film, which kicked off the careers of Sean Young and unrecognizable Daryl Hannah and Rutger Hauer, has built an intensely loyal following, due perhaps to its handling of social ills that seem to have become even more relevant over time. I think the, the world we, pre we, we presented was a little bit, uh, maybe scarily, in a, uh, scarily accurate as a prediction. Scott Leon, CNN Entertainment News, New York.